We are going to switch gears now and talk about what is bearing down on the Carolinas. Hurricane Florence expected to come ashore on the southeast coast where all the shelves have been emptied at the hardware stores and the building supply stores. Families doing anything they can to board up their homes and protect them and of course stock up on the groceries from the supermarkets. Everything's been cleaned out stocking up on those essentials. And then you look at the radar of Hurricane Florence, not changing one bit, just inching ever closer to shore. Let's uh, the national uh, the director of the National Hurricane Center says that the size of Hurricane Florence is quote staggering. This is sounding like an historic hurricane bearing down Brandon, and I know you've been tracking the very latest path on where it could make landfall. Category four hurricane. The two words to describe it: extremely dangerous and devastating and that's what we're getting ready for plenty of advanced warning but hurricane hunter aircraft flew through and dissected this storm about an hour ago and very little change so it is we'll track this in just a second but it is strengthening it is slowing down and that is not good news back here at home we have temperatures right around room temperature 72 degrees or so afternoon Tigers Astros game and middle 70s with a mix of sun and clouds. Now we head back to category four Florence, which has 130 to 160 mile an hour winds and getting closer and closer to the Carolinas. It looks like a category four through tomorrow morning and tomorrow night into Friday morning will be impact as either a very strong three or a four 120 to 150 on the winds as it hits tomorrow or early Friday. Rhonda. And Brandon, as you described, it's 600 miles wide, which is hard to map, wrap your mind around. It has been a day of last minute preparations and evacuations from not only the Carolina coast, but Virginia as well as that hurricane closes in. We are looking at video right now. This is the storm from space that we continue watching. Wendy Wolfuck is in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina with the latest from there. The storm made a huge shift overnight, slowing down a bit, but now is still the time to get out. Decision day along the South Atlantic coast. Flee. Concerned to be pretty crazy not to be concerned. Or face Florence. Yeah, I got shutters and everything's all hunkered down. Even though this area has a long history with storms of all sizes, residents here are taking this one seriously. Disaster is at the doorstep and is coming in. This is the last day to outrun the powerful Category 4 storm, with millions from Virginia to the Carolinas heading away from the coast. I'm just stressed out to the max, thinking, am I going to have a home to come back to? 3,000 National Guard personnel activated. It's enough to make me a, a, a native of New Orleans leave. Despite mandatory evacuation orders in some areas, others choosing to stay. We're ready. We're ready every year. Either way, time is quickly running out here. With forecasters calling this the storm of a lifetime, every minute now counts. Don't let the sunny day at the beach deceive you. Powerful wind and rain expected to begin later today. In Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, Wendy Woolfolk, NBC News.